Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am back in Italy. I'm back home. I'm back to creating content. In this video, I'm going to give you this beautiful one shot prompt, which will give you a blog post 100% of the time that will rank on Google and that will definitely do well on Google as well. Firstly, let's take a quick look at evidence that it actually ranks on Google because obviously that's incredibly important. So one, two, three, these three blog posts were written using this method, okay? Let me just check, I'm still recording, yes. So let's take a look. You can see here that they were last edited on Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. They were all written within a few hours of each other. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on edit website SEO and we're going to grab the URL. Okay. And then I'm going to go on Nuovo here, Pagina, and I'm going to put URL that contains and we're going to see if there are any impressions. And as you can see, there are already impressions, there are already clicks. There are already keywords here, which is what we like to see. So that's the first one. Let's just check the others before I give you this prompt and talk a little bit about how the prompt actually works. Let's have a look at this one. This one's doing even better, as you can see, although there aren't as many keywords here, which normally means that um, it could be in Discover, for example, or it could also be uh, because of images, image SEO as well. Doesn't seem to be in Discover, so I'm not actually sure where the impressions are coming from. I'll have to look at that after this video. Let's have a quick look at the final one. So Nuovo Pagina, and then we'll put this here. This one is not doing so well, but interestingly, this is also the one that I've seen there being traffic for. So yeah, that's kind of weird. Let's talk about the actual prompt. I've split the prompt up into this prompt builder here, which I will leave um, in the description. You can see everything that I'm talking about. You'll be able to find this uh, in the description as well. And basically I've been working on this prompt for a couple of weeks now. And what I like to do is, first of all, you need to pick a tone of voice. So I'm using Charles Bukowski, but make sure that you write in the prompt, as you can see here, do not mention Charles Bukowski. If you don't do that, then it will give you some kind of article and it will do it like from the perspective of Bukowski and it will mention Bukowski. Then you need to give it your focus keyword, which you can see here is men's urban summer fashion 2023. Okay. And then let's zoom in a little bit. You can see here, I basically, I'll, let's just read the prompt. So I need help writing an article today. I want you to write in the style of Charles Bukowski. Be formal. Do not mention Charles Bukowski, only write in English. The topical of the article is going to be men's urban summer fashion 2023. I work for an Italian luxury reseller called Two Men. Do not say that we're a reseller, okay? And you want to include the following Italian brands, Cesare Ettolini. This is the important part of the prompt, okay? I am writing an article about summer fashion. I know my brands, so I know that Cesare Ettolini sells lightweight suits and sports jackets that are great for wearing with slacks or dress pants or jeans, okay? This is where the magic happens. You need to input data about your brands or whatever you're selling into the prompt and it needs to be unique like this, okay? Kit on for its wide range of stuff, including jeans, sneakers, tracksuits, and more, and even swimming trunks. Kappa NAT or KNT for its t-shirts, hoodies, and sneakers. Boss for all its urban wear for casual play workplaces, shorts, and joggers. Santoni for its re range of handmade Italian designer sneakers. Okay, let me talk quickly about why this prompt is so much better than other prompts and why I'm changing to using this one-shot prompt. Previously, when I gave just a list of keywords with no context, they would say things like Santoni's range of coats. Santoni, or at least we don't sell Santoni coats, okay? And from my knowledge, Santoni only makes um, shoes. So basically, the reason that I'm, I've changed the prompt now is for this reason. Santoni for its range of handmade Italian designer sneakers. We only sell Santoni sneakers, therefore I have introduced that into the prompt. This is the really important part of this process. Tramarosa for its beautiful jeans. Again, we only sell Tramarosa jeans, so this is a vital part of the process. Timberland, if you want to go trekking, uh, also great for urban wear looks for jeans. So this is even better, okay? I introduced the concept of Timberland. We only sell Timberland boots. Timberland boots are good for trekking. This is from my own brain. So you input that into the prompt, okay? 
Sartorio for their sports jackets and blazers, perfect for summer formal events, and Barba Napoli for its polo shirts and lightweight hoodies. Okay, so depending on what article you're writing, you will change your prompt to fit that article and you will change the products that you include in brackets after the brand, depending on what you're selling or depending on what the article is about. Okay, and then at the end, I've put when it's possible, I want you to include these exact phrase match keywords and concepts. This is from my previous video. If you want to watch the previous video, feel free. I made this list of keywords myself. I did it manually, okay? It took me ages, but you can get it from Search Console. You can get all the information, all the keywords from Search Console. And the reason that I do this is because after I want to use my internal linking script, which I will definitely have a video coming for soon. Okay, so let's have a look at the output and see how it actually works. So the title is just basically the focus keyword plus the title. You can change that if you want, okay? Oh, sorry, under the keywords as well, I put using markdown titles throughout the article for each brand. Please write an article including a clickable title, okay? You can find this entire thing in the description, guys, so don't worry. I just wanted to go through it. So the output is H1 Men's Urban Summer Fashion 2023. That's fine. Summer is here and it's time to upgrade your wardrobe with the latest Italian luxury fashion. From lightweight suits to handmade sneakers, the following Italian brands will have you looking sharp this season. This is very good, unique content. Nobody has anything like this on the web. On, on the web. Okay, you can check that if you want. Let's just actually check that. Go on Google, do uh, what are they called speech marks and then write it and then end it in speech marks. As you can see, there is absolutely nothing in there. Okay, it's limited, so let's just delete. Okay, as you can see, the only result is the article that I wrote before. These are also in order, so Cesare Attolini, uh, not in order, they're in uh, H2s, okay? So for a classic and sophisticated look, consider investing in a suit from Cesare Attolini. Known for their lightweight suits and sports jackets, these pieces are versatile and can be dressed up and down. Pair with slacks or dress pants for a formal occasion or wear with jeans for a more relaxed look. This is honestly the kind of content I would make myself if I was handwriting. Kitan, same thing. Cap NT, same thing. Hugo Boss, same thing. Santoni, same thing. Tramarosa, Timbaland, Sartorio, and Barba Napoli. Okay? This process is so much quicker than what I was doing before. And then I just said write a meta description. It wrote a meta description. And then you can see at the bottom of this, I've actually written down the, um, the flow that I use. Okay? So you create a long shot, uh, one shot blog post, as I just showed you. You copy and paste the content into a Google document. You run the internal linking script, which can be found here. And then once you've done that, you can add a featured image. You can do that by using Midjourney, or if you have good original content, you can just use the original content that you have. And then what I like to do is I run the code through an HTML cleaner. So I just, if you just type in HTML cleaner on Google, there's one here called HTML washer. What this does is it removes any weird HTML formatting that ChatGPT may have put into your article. And then what you can do is you can use Hura if you're on Shopify, so Hura Collections. Uh, this here, Hura Collection Embedder, this can then embed products onto your Shopify website or your Shopify blog post. Or if you're using WordPress, you can use a WordPress equivalent. And then you just post the article and you manually submit it to Search Console. That's literally it, guys. It's that simple and it's that easy to start ranking listicle articles right now on Google. Let's have a little look at the results that I've been getting using this method and the method I showed you in my last video or the video that did really, really well. Always using the same keyword method that I showed you in my keyword video, which you can find on my channel. As you can see, the website is still growing. We're now at almost 6,000 impressions every single day, which for such a new website, if you're in SEO, I mean, I have people commenting saying that I'm lying and people don't believe me because that's how good the results are so far. As you can see, these are all just very, very quick articles written by ChatGPT, and they are all growing and they're all doing very, very well. If you do want more information on how to do keyword research, I made a specific video for keyword research, which I'll show you right now. So if you just go on my channel, go on my videos, it's this one here, seven years of organic keyword research in 25 minutes. This is how I'm doing my keyword research for this uh, website. 
and I'm having a lot of success with it so far. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps. It's nice to be back, and I'll see you really, really soon with some more ChatGPT content. Peace out.